man what's up y'all welcome back to another video events with Driz. i hope all you guys are having a great morning a great afternoon a great evening whatever time you're watching this i just hope you don't go overall you feel me um uh, for my new people if you are new don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the bell while you edit too i highly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart you feel me i hope all you guys are doing good and let's get into the video y'all have you ever wondered why people hate for no reason? It's a good question, ain't it? Well, something I realized is, bro, the reason why people hate for no reason is because they're dealing with something that they're going through. You ever been around a friend or a family member or someone in general, and they're always being negative. They're always talking down to somebody. Even with people they don't know, they see a stranger walking down the street. Oh, that dude ugly. Oh, why are you wearing them ugly pants? Just stuff that isn't necessary to say. And I've been around people like that all my life. And I never knew where that was coming from. I never understood it because my mind didn't think that way. But now the way I see it is, bro, if they're talking down on people like that, imagine how they're talking about themselves internal. You feel me? It's 10 times worse. They're going through something, yo. And they hate themselves. So the only way that they can feel good about themselves is talking down on other people. But my best bet on that is just to pray for them and hope they heal. This thing feels illegal to know about, but the people that talk bad about people when they're not around are the same people that talk bad about you when you're not around. I was actually at work the other day, bro. And it was four of us, me and three coworkers, right? We're all talking having a good talk one person leaves and one of the people in the group starts talking bad about the person that just left and i'm like dang that's crazy saying oh bro he's so childish you know what i'm saying he he, he acts like a kid just saying all this negative stuff i'm like bro that ain't cool so something that i did was i made the conversation positive they was talking bad about that person i said oh no he cool for real like like we have the same birthday. He, he's my birthday twin for real. Because we do have the same birthday. The person that left, we have the same exact birthday. So I just try to make things very positive because it's like, he's not around to defend himself. You feel me? So why are we talking bad about this person? Because I'm not gonna engage with that at all whatsoever. But more of the story, yo, do not surround yourself with people that are like that. Because trust me, they bring more bad than good. Can we admit that compliments from strangers hit way harder than from people that we know? Can we admit that? Because if I'm being honest, bro, they do. It's more genuine. It's from the heart because it's like they don't have to say anything in the first place. So the fact that they gave you a compliment lets you know that it's pure and they mean that. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I was actually at work the other day and I saw a customer. Bro, she had like the dopest outfit ever. Like the fashion was top tier. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I had to throw a compliment. I'm like, yo, I love your outfit. She was like, thank you. I love your hair. That made my day. I'm not gonna lie to you because it was pure, it was genuine. A really, really genuine conversation. That's all it was, bro. And sometimes all we need is a compliment from a stranger just to make us feel good about ourselves. That's why I always strive to give at least three compliments to strangers a day, three a day, because I feel like I'm giving out good to the world. And if they feel good from my compliment, who knows? They may give someone else a compliment and make their day. Okay, imagine this, imagine your best self. What does your best self look like? You feel me? Anything that you dream of, everything that you want to accomplish, imagine you doing these things, making it happen, right? Now, let me ask you this question. Why aren't you taking the actions to make it happen? Because simply, if you have a thought that you can do it, trust and believe, you can bring it into reality. You really can. Our problem is, bro, we always want things to happen right away. We're not patient enough and patience is a very very big thing to have it is especially towards your goals i ain't gonna lie to you 
you know i've been doing this content stuff for three or four years and i'm just now starting to get engagement so that alone lets you know that yo this is a journey understand bro if you work for your goals every single day you're gonna make progress you is and you know some may be faster than others which is cool but you still gonna make progress and that's the whole goal the whole objective remember that don't compare yourself and keep on grinding bro if you have that goal that dream you see your best self doing these things they're in your mind for a reason let it become reality all right y'all so i'm gonna end this video off right here you feel me um i just want to say i appreciate all you guys who watch this video from beginning to end you feel me uh yet again for my new people if you are new don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the bell while you edit too i highly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart you feel me um expect my videos of course you know what i'm saying and if you guys want to contact me my instagram is right here so don't be afraid to reach out because i will respond to everybody as long as we're on the same type of timing and i love all y'all peace chill